My name is Michael Goodwill. I am a Life Scout at Troop 8051, and my Eagle Scout project is to stop the bleed and uh, help s supply tourniquets to the district. We started supplying tourniquets because a scout that was part of our troop, he had an accident where he lost his arm. He started to bleed out. So he made himself a self-made tourniquet to stop the bleed because not every first responder can make it there in time to save everyone's life. Because accidents do occasionally happen and when they do, if not treated properly or immediately, they could become deadly. So a tourniquet is going to stop the bleeding below so that if there's an injury, so say in the arm or the leg, it's going to like cut off blood flow, not enough to like lose the arm, but enough to prevent the, the student or the person from bleeding out. And so it's really important in those injury, which is one of the leading causes of death in pediatric patients is bleed outs because from trauma can result in hemorrhages that just with pressure and time, the tourniquet would buy them that opportunity to survive. We're super, super happy uh, that Michael uh, was looking out for not only uh, as he pursues a badge, a community service badge through his local Boy Scout troop, uh, but he was looking out for the safety and well-being being of, his, of his fellow peers uh, when he decided that he would like to identify a resource, uh, tourniquets for example, uh, to be used in conjunction uh, with any training uh, that we might have or in the event there is a need uh, to, to stop uh, stop bleeding, stop, stop massive blood loss. Uh, he, uh, he reached out uh, to our, uh, one of the local safety committees and provided a presentation uh, of who he was and, and what he was attempting to do. And so he uh, was able to acquire a batch of tourniquets. Uh, tourniquets are very expensive. Not only was he able to fulfill his community service project for his badge, but in doing so provided a great service uh, to our community, uh, to his peers, and to the school. You know, we joke all the time, and you save one life, you're a hero, and you save a thousand and you're a nurse or any of your EMTs, but I think it's pretty awesome when you're, he just turned 15 last week, and he's already coming up with a way that this could potentially be something that, a legacy at COFA or in the district to have these safety measures in place that if something bad happens, if an accident happens, not only will the, the tools be here, but the, the knowledge to be able to react in a safe and effective and safe manner, it's, he has the potential to save even more and that's pretty awesome. I have talked to many different organizations, hospital, I will be talking to other organizations as well to get more tourniquets. My initial goal to get was at least 10 for tr the training. My overall goal, goal is to get a tourniquet or at least two in every other classroom on campus and district.